you got to love avocados. They're sexy, they're smooth, they're sensual, they're loaded with omega-3s that everyone's talking about, and they're so easy to use. This is a classic guacamole. My husband makes the best guacamole on the planet, so I'm hoping I can live up to his standards here. So we have two avocados. You want them nice and ripe, but not black inside. So you want that nice, firm texture. And we're gonna coarsely mash these with a fork. Some people do it in a blender or a food processor, but it just seems silly. Just get in here and do this. I like using a fork because I don't get a really smooth guacamole. I want it to be a little bit more coarse. I like that it's got some lumps of avocado. I don't want it to be creamy, creamy. The avocados are creamy on their own. And my own personal preference is that I like kind of big chunks of it because it gets a little too mushy for me. So I like when there's still some bits of whole avocado in there. But if you like it really, really smooth, just keep mashing it or do it in a mortar and pestle. Okay, so that's the texture that I like for guacamole. And now it's like, that's the hardest part right there. So now we're gonna take some garlic. And this is about one good size clove. And I'm gonna lightly smash it. And then I'm gonna go in here and coarsely mince it. So you kind of get it into pieces and you just keep going back and forth. And you want this to be really, really finely minced so that nobody bites down on a great big piece of garlic. And I like to use fresh garlic for this. So you want really nice, good, fresh garlic. I'm gonna go over this one more time so that it's really, really fine. You can use a garlic press as well, which is what my husband does, but I tend to not really like to use those so much. I'm not much of a gadget girl. Okay, next thing to go in is finely chopped red onion. And finally, I mean you cut it into really thin, thin, thin pieces like this, like really skinny half moons. And then you take your knife and you turn those half moon pieces and you go across them. You kind of move a little bit fast here, but you really finely mince this. Again, for the same reason that you finely mince the garlic. You don't want somebody biting down on a great big piece of raw onion. So you just kind of get in here and nice and finely chop it. Just like that. See how beautiful that looks? Easy. So that goes in. Okay, the next thing to go in, these are cherry tomatoes that I cut into quarters. So you can use regular sized tomatoes and seed them, or you can just use cherry or grape tomatoes and not have to worry about the seeding process. Now you want to season it to taste with salt. You know, maybe about to a recipe of this size, two avocados, maybe a half to two thirds teaspoons of salt. I'm gonna to add to this, I like a little kick in my guacamole. So we're gonna add a little vitamin spice red pepper flakes. I get some antioxidants to go with my omega-3s and some heat. Next is fresh lime juice. Just a squeeze, maybe half a lime worth. Don't get too carried away here because you don't want the guacamole to get liquidy. Okay, so now you mix this together because you want to get the lime juice mixed in before the last ingredient gets chopped in. So you have a nice texture and there you go. Now the last ingredient to go in is cilantro. You may also use parsley if you don't like cilantro, but cilantro is the classic guacamole ingredient. And you add it last so that the lime juice doesn't discolor it. So you're going to take this and coarsely chop it. You want to end up with a couple of tablespoons worth of cilantro. Now again, if you don't like it, you can switch it up for basil, and as summer comes, that will make a really, really nice flavor. Or you can just use parsley. It's up. So the cilantro is mixed in. You want to make sure you get it nicely incorporated throughout. Make sure you don't have any too big bits of avocado. Then you just transfer it to a serving bowl. Get all that yummy goodness out. And then, the most important part of your guacamole, of course, is testing it to make sure that it's perfect. Yum.